Welcome to GDP's Physics and Simulation 2020. My name is Felipe Bellini, and this is a video demonstration for Project 4, addressing the classes lecture by James Lucas at Fenshaw College. Project 4 regards soft body simulation, wind, and collision detection between rigid bodies and soft bodies. As always, documentation is provided at the root of the solution directory. Here's an example of documentation. In this project, we should see a cloth composed of masses and springs. All objects in the simulation can be fully configured using an external XML file. In this file, we can configure the corner of the cloth, for instance, the masses of the nodes, elasticity, and so on. The physics simulation is handled by the Bell Engine Physics Custom DLL. It is recommended to run the simulation on release X64 configuration. Here's our environment. There's the cloth in the middle of the scenario. There's a couple of planes there to demonstrate uh, plane collisions. If you press F1 and then toggle colliders, you should see the springs as well. There's the springs. And then I can simulate wind by pressing spacebar. You should see that the graphical user interface is displaying wind is on and the average force of the wind, which is a light breeze on the cloth. As you can see, I'm going to restart and go over the collision detection. In the same way, I'm going to toggle the colliders to show the springs. And by pressing keys 8 and 9, we can select the spheres that are in the environment. So I can move the spheres by using the arrows in the keyboard. And then I can collide against the, the soft body like this. It's a weightless collision, so the soft body doesn't have any impact on the sphere itself. But the sphere causes a change in the soft body there's still collisions between rigid bodies like in the first in the second projects and in third projects like this Whenever you select an object, it will turn red. I can toggle wind on and off using the spacebar. Now I'm going over a couple of important classes for this project. Uh, the most important one being the system physics inside Bell Engine Physics Custom. Um, this class handles all collisions and the integration of all the masses and rigid bodies in the game. So it handles everything. Each frame the game uh, loop will call update. This is an interface function that's called by the, the game loop. And it's divided in um, the updates of the wind, this one will change the force of the wind, which uses a sine wave for that. Um, then integration of all the, the rigid bodies and soft bodies in the game. Um, there's a choir collisions, which we will loop through all the game objects and figure out if they are colliding against each other and if they, are, they have uh, internal collisions, like the soft bodies do, for instance. And at the end, 
we have a collide function here uh, which will handle internally uh, the response of the collision detection and there's also a collision callback that the game can regi register itself to uh, which means that whatever, whenever a collision happens inside the system physics uh, the game can capture this collision internally and do something with it. So uh, now moving over to the wind class. The wind class uh, is the class that's used to simulate the wind in the game. Um, I'm using sine function to allow a certain amount of variation for the wind. And also the wind covers just a certain area of the game. Uh, for instance, um, it uses a shape and it just affects the objects that are inside the shape in the game. Here's the soft body, which was built following the directions given in class. There's more in the header, which implements the nodes and the springs class. Uh, another important class here is the soft body factory, which builds the, the soft body. It takes a bunch of strings that are sent by the XML. Everything there, and then loops through all this data and creates the rigid bodies, the nodes, and connects them using the springs at the end. Um, the cloth is defined inside the core. Here we have it. Um, the cloth is a game object, inherits from my cloth, game object. And um, that concludes our presentation for Project 4. For more information, uh, contact Felipe Bellini or James Lucas at Fenshaw College. Thank you.